The Summertown and Loretto basketball teams get ready for a pair of road trips coming up on Friday. Plus, the North Alabama men were at home taking on Alabama State. It's coming up next on Exports Tonight. From the Exports Network, this is Exports Tonight. Welcome to Exports Tonight. I'm AJ Good, starting things off with high school basketball, where both Summertown and Loretto will be on the road on Friday. Each side is looking to get back on the right track and continue the strong starts to their seasons. Starting first with Loretto, who will be on the road at Richland on Friday night. The Raider teams are undefeated with the girls at 4-0 and the boys at 5-0. The Lady Mustangs are coming off their first loss of the season on the road at Wayne County, while the boys picked up another win against the Wildcats. Both Loretto teams are young and maturing well as the season progresses, and both head coaches are very pleased with what they've seen so far from their young and talented teams. And it's just, uh, even their demeanor in the locker room, watching film, in the weight room, it's just so easy to spot improvement from each one of them individually. And it's just nice to know that, um, you know, I think we can be a really good team by February and make a run at this thing, and that's what we're playing for. But it's also nice to know we got them back, and then we got them back, and then we got a lot of them back. You know, it, it's just, it's nice, but these guys are hungry. They're doing good. You know, it's all about uh, taking one step forward each time. And so hopefully by the end of February, you've made all these steps forward, but just one step at a time. Like we've told them, it's not going to happen overnight. Each day, you just got to get better and better in those roles. Now across the county to Summertown, where both the boys and girls are coming off back-to-back -back wins over Hickman County and Spring Hill. Up next for the Eagles will be a road trip to Collinwood. The Trojanettes are 1-4 with a lot of close losses, while the Trojan boys are 0-5 and, and getting back to full strength. Summertown has a lot of youth on the court on both teams, and their coaches are liking what they see as their teams continue to grow and win at the same time. They are, you know, and I think – with their age and immaturity a little bit, I think it's easy to kind of get on that emotional roller coaster a little bit. Um, but you know, it's been it's been good for us to kind of have some lumps. But I think uh, just like last night, you know, to kind of see us play play that well on both ends of the floor, uh, you know, it obviously makes it better for a little bit. You know, we'll see what how, what kind of practice we have today. Coming up next, we head on over to college basketball, where North Alabama was back in off taking on Alabama State. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. Whether it's popcorn, biscuits, or automotive, you need the right ingredients to achieve the best results. Heritage Automotive is proud to serve our community with a continually growing inventory. We also help our community grow by contributing to a vibrant economy which helps build schools. I'm Keith Durham and I'm the General Manager here at Heritage Automotive and it's my job to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Heritage Automotive, your hometown Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealer. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gain Street, next to the courthouse. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high-quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. 
from the X Sports Network. This is the North Alabama Report, presented by First Class Charter. Welcome back to X Sports tonight. Now over to men's college basketball where the Lions of North Alabama were back in Flowers Hall tonight. They were taking on Alabama State as they were also looking to get back on the right track. First meeting between the two in Florence since 1980. Here in the first half, it's going to be K.J. Johnson getting the scoring going, driving into the lane, off the glass with the left hand and in. Then it's Dallas Howe, open from the wing, the left-hander, going to knock down the three. He would finish with 11 points on the night. Then Damian Forrest here at the hesitation, drives into the lane and slams it down for the Lions. And later, Forrest still here in the first half. He's going to go into the paint, the tough move, and gets the right-handed hook shot to fall in. The Lions led by nine at the half. Moving ahead to the second half, a nice move by Forrest off the glass with the right hand for two. Then Johnson drives, misses, but Forrest is there for the putback. He would lead all scorers with 20. Then it's Will Susie going to call his own number. He's going to drive into the paint, goes up and under. That one will rattle home. He would finish with 10 points. Then some nice ball movement as Susie finds Johnson in the corner for three as North Alabama goes Goes on to win this one, 71 to 63. That does it for X Sports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This is the X Sports Network.